The promise object represents the eventual completion or failure of an asynchronous operation and its resulting value. It's like a placeholder for a value that you're waiting on. A promise can be in one of three states, pending, fulfilled, or rejected. When the promise is pending, JavaScript continues code execution. This way, the promise or value that you are waiting on does not cause your program to freeze. Eventually, the promise is either fulfilled or rejected and JavaScript goes back to that code block to execute the appropriate operation. Here's the basic layout of a promise. We create a variable and assign it to a new promise. The promise accepts a function with two parameters, resolve and reject. Within this function, we execute our asynchronous operation. Some examples of this would be getting data from another source, or downloading a file, or any other operation that will take an undetermined amount of time. After that, we determine whether we should resolve or reject the promise dependent on the success or failure of our asynchronous operation. Now that the promise is constructed, we can execute it. We call the promise to initiate it. We use dot then to look for the promise to enter the fulfilled state. Dot then accepts a function that receives the resolved value from the resolve method. We can then do something with the results. After that, we can use dot catch to look for the promise to enter the rejected state. Dot catch also accepts a function that receives any errors from our reject method. This has been a 90 second JavaScript January.